All right, welcome back to Digital Rap Scallions. I gotta do this quickly. Uh, we are this is your captain speaking. I'm here with my first mate, T. No, I'm your friend, Adavis. <laughs> now, what you see, Lisa, you find that you have no desire to speak. Passing through the door. What is it about that door? Door with the stars, constel stars, constellations. The scorpion and the dragon are on the door. It must be the moon shines upon the door that you may pass through it. Let me see. Where is the moon now? The moon is to the southeast, but the door is facing north. The moonlight will not pass over us enough to cast light upon the door. Why is this happening to me? After all these years of planning, how can so many things go wrong? Well, hero from the Northland, are you so powerful a magician that you can move the moon from its orbit and force it to shine on the door? Or are you so strong that you can bend light? What can you say or do that will let you pass the door? You find you can speak and move your arms again, but you can't seem to move your legs. I gotta just quit this. It's gonna get pissed at this. <laughs> You whip out the mirror from your pocket and carefully direct the reflected moonlight between the constellations. Whoosh. At last! Now how does the, pro the rest of the prophecy go? And at last the hero, he who awaits behind, shall see, while Iblis rises by the dark one, and the light shall flee. By the name of the Suleiman, so shall this be. Now you know all you need to know. Go in there and bring me the statue of Iblis. I'm so glad to be helping this nice man. For a few moments, your mind is overwhelmed by the squalling, whirling wind. Then the euphoric feeling starts to fade, and you stand alone in the darkness. The past few hours are hazy in your memory. You only have one thing. Uh, you remember only one thing clearly. You're here to find the statue of Iblis. All right, so we're in darkness. We need to use our magic lamp to make some light. We can see what we're doing now! Oh, you fire elemental, how you use your level will also help to us. Do, do, do. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Either your imagination just got the better of you, or some known man, unknown man, yet not wholly unfamiliar young man, some un unknown or not wholly unfamiliar young man, was just teleported into the middle of the raging river a few seconds before falling to his death. Wait, wait, maybe it's some cruel Easter egg of some sort, the link some programmers go to get some cheap laugh out of the audience. That, however, is actually an Easter egg from King's Quest Three, <laughs> the remake made by the very same people who made this. One of their new puzzles has you try this, and if you go through the portal the wrong way, you end up falling to your doom through this very room, and that actually happens. It is the guy from Quest for Glory watching you? Yes. Ah! <laughs> this is exactly what happens. You would have preferred a trial by fire. It's kind of like with uh, Half-Life Blue Shift. You get to see Gordon Freeman pass by you. Okay, well, we got to save this because we haven't saved in a while and we're, we can die here a lot. So we're going to change this and we need a name. Um... Thanks, Jake. <laughs> You didn't have to say a thing, did it? I could just see it in your mind. What were you thinking? All right, so we got to jump onto the rock, onto the wood. How fitting your phone should go off just now. You got over the mossy thing. I was in the mossy. Oh, bus blue shit! Oh crap! Well, the we're dead. overwhelms you with emotions as it sweeps you off your feet and carries you away. Damn! Restore. We're not dead. Rewind. That didn't happen. <laughs> All right. Jump! Jump on the wood! Jump on the wood! Jump on the wood! Aww. Well, would you believe good, uh... Would you believe good idea, but bad timing? Missed it by that much! We need to instant replay that and see exactly how terrible we, that is. We need Mark and was. Scott to appear and do the instant replay. Yeah, really. <laughs> we should get the music for that. Yeah. We totally get that playing. Whole nine yards, yeah, we're gonna do the whole nine yards. We're gonna get that in there. Alright, so we're gonna do this again. Right, this time we're gonna try and get it right. Oh, 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 yeah, I made it! Look at that! Nice. Fuck right. Alright, so we gotta go this way, and the wind pulls us in. Oh no! The footing slips through the force of the air, rushing into the small opening. There's a tremendous pressure of the wind trying to surge into the hole, and you struggle to overcome it. Whew! That was close. You managed to make it through. Okay, you can block hole, push rocks, or apply force. That's us apply force. Uh. 
The wind no longer blows as fiercely. Because, you know, we're a warrior paladin. Then. So let's go up this way. Do, do, do. And around we go. We are up here. The wind would normally blow us off of here if we were in here. But now we're not. And now we're going into here. Ah. Here we go. The heat of this room is painful. You feel the sweat pour down as you hear it sizzle to the ground below. There's a distinct odor of brimstone around you. Guess what? We are doing our trial by fire. Ar -ar. Oh, ouch, 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 you ouch. stepped on something that wasn't quite solid rock and felt the heat through your boot. And oh, 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 o